Hi everyone, welcome back to Anita's Joint, hashtag extended joint, where every day is payday, baby. <laughs> uh, it kind of looked like I had a mustache, but I don't. Anyways, anyways, you're back tuned into another video. So I wanted to talk about uh, the Valor de Don, and um, you saw that Alexa one, uh, the, the Aquarius. But honestly, uh, I thought this one was going to go to Sam Kerr. Um, I don't know. I guess she's going to have to win a Champions League to win a Ballad de Don. But I feel like she should have been already won. Uh, maybe like the second or third year she was. I think this is like her fourth year for Chelsea or her maybe her third or fourth. I think it might be her third year. I think it might be her third year with Chelsea. Don't I'm not too sure. But yes, I I, I think Sam Kerr is getting stubs. Well, yeah. What do you call it? Pushed aside. I don't know why uh, she hasn't been, uh, you know, hasn't won. And I think she's a great player. Um, her accolades speak for herself. I think that, you know, even though she play, she's Australian, um, you know, everything that she has done as an individual, uh, I mean, is great. In three different leagues, she's been a, a, a she, in three different leagues, she's been the top goal scorer, um, respectably it, it, during seasons. And honestly, can you say that with about another football player right now? Can you say that at the highest level? Can you say that right now? I don't think so. And Sam Kerr's a Virgo, so she's a master at, or a master in making. Um, but they, Virgo teaches us that, you know, if you continue to do something, you will be able to master it and analyze it. And, and that's what Virgo is. And of course, Virgo is the, uh, the feminine aspect of Mercury, which is quick. Um, but yeah, I think uh, Sam Kerr should have won this this one. No, no discredit to Alexa, but what what what, what is Sam, Sam Kerr? Is she gonna have to win the Champions League? I think Chelsea should do better uh, this year. Um, even though I'm not really a Chelsea supporter, I'm a City supporter. As you know, I still think Sam Kerr should have won. Um, and you know, what I'm saying it's the same thing. I, for, I don't even know who came up second. Uh, so who was over Sam Kerr? I was just like, you know, so it's really surprises me. Um, it's like, do you have to win a ballad? That, do you have to win a Champions League to be able to win the best player in the world? Um, you know what I mean? Is, is that something, is that a criteria that is uh, that FIFA requires? And it shouldn't be a popularity contest, but every time we see it, 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 it most of the time it's a popularity contest. Um, and you know, I I think she did get sub snub, and I don't want to uh, like make the video too long, but I mean, what 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 does Sam Kerr have to do next? Does she have to help Chelsea? Because there's no way in the FAWSL league that um, that that Chelsea are gonna win another title. I don't think they'll I don't think they'll win four years in a row. Cause that's crazy, y'all. That's crazy. But I do think Chelsea should go far in the Champions League. Uh, and say they do, uh, you know, you know, be, win. Is, is that going to be enough for her to win uh, next year, or will they give it to someone else? But I do think she's due the trophy. I think uh, who else is next in running? I think uh, I'm trying to think. I think maybe Beth Mead, uh, based upon her performance at the Euros. A lot of the, uh, a lot of um, some Chelsea players. I'm trying to think who else I, I actually got to see. Uh, some of the German players, uh, some of the French players, the people that we saw at the Euros, right? The people that the teams that we all saw um, be really successful at the Euros, and then of course you got, we have to look at their club. But you know, not every player uh, will be able to win uh, a World Cup or an Olympic, or, a, a Champions League. But when I'm looking at Sam Kerr's stats based upon everyone else's, I mean, she's she supersedes based upon how long she's been playing. And, and you know, she's played for multiple teams. It's, and, and honestly, like I said, she she is hands down the best striker of our generation based upon based upon all she's hands down the best striker. Like I we, we have never we won't have another Sam Kerr until it happens and it's going to be a minute because she's played in three different leagues and she's been the best goal scorer in three different leagues and 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 i think it was maybe her second year at chelsea or maybe her or maybe uh because i'm trying to figure out 
Um, maybe it was her first or second year for Chelsea. She was the, the, the winner of the Golden Boot. Um, and, you know, hopefully Australia uh, can do something at the World Cup. So maybe this will be finally her opportunity to, again, once again, show us that, you know, she is the GOAT, literally the GOAT. Uh, and I, and I'm, a, I'm a real big Sam Kerr supporter, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I like Sam Kerr, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she's dynamic. Uh, you know, I, and I got the Australian, some of the Australians on my city team. And, uh, you know, I really think she's an incredible player based upon, you know, being able to see her. You know, I was, I've been able to watch her in the BSL. Didn't really get to watch her when she was in Australia, but uh, able to watch her here in, in, in the in the BSL and the FAW, FAWSL as well. Uh, so I think Sam Kerr should be next in line. I mean... What else does she got to do? That's what everybody's talking about. What else she got to do? Because, you know, she, I mean, like I said, like, she should have already been on it. You know, she should have already been on it. Um, and also Crystal Dunn. Shout out to Crystal Dunn. When is Crystal Dunn? I know she just had a baby, but Crystal Dunn should have had one best player in the world, too, because she's played uh, in multiple countries, too. I think she played for Chelsea as well, Crystal Dunn. Uh, don't quote me on that though. But um, yeah, Crystal Dunn when when she was like the she was like the best left back in the world at one point at one point in time. Crystal Dunn, uh, she should have had one best player of the year. Um, we know that uh, Rapino has won it. Alice Morgan, I think, uh, has won it. Or you know, before the name change, it's the same. It don't matter what they call it. It's still best player in the world. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what they call it. Uh, but yeah. Sam Kerr, I feel, uh, is one of the best strikers we've been able to witness. Um, and she's up there. I'd say she is probably the best one. And let me know who y'all think the best striker is of all time. I don't know, because uh, I've been able to witness Sam Kerr. And we, I'm just now, I just, we, Minima, uh, Viviana Minima just came to, you know, our awareness when, mm, I think, when was she on, I'm trying to think. Uh, I, oh yeah, when when uh, the Netherlands played the USA at the World Cup, that's when we found I found out who Miedema was. I didn't know who she was, but yeah, she's 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 gonna be a, a um, she's gonna be able to win a um, best player in the world as well, I think eventually. Uh, but also I like oh my goodness, also I like some of the German players. Uh, some of the German players are going to need to get some love eventually, too, because I feel like Germany has a really a lot of great players. Man, it's uh, getting real dark over here. I know it's, uh, what was I saying? Miedema. Miedema. That's right, Miedema. Miedema should, should be able to win a, a, a female player of the year eventually. And, you know, some other names that kind of come to mind. I'm just trying to think about the players that I've been able to watch since I've been commentating football. Um, honestly, Buchanan as well. I don't even know. Has Wendy Renard even won? Uh, shout out to Wendy Renard. Has she even won uh, the Best Player in the World Award? I mean, she is one of the GOATs uh, when it comes to being the best, one of the best center backs. Even though she hasn't, you know, I don't know if she's ever not played for Lyon. But... Listen to me. This is and it's at the at the end of the day, it's the player's choice if they want to move uh, and play somewhere else. But I just like, you know, I don't want to bring uh, Messi and Ronaldo into it. But I have to say it like this: I I would root for Ronaldo more because he's been to had multi, he's been in multiple leagues and been very successful. And Messi just left Barcelona for PSG, and you know. Just one team. And, and like I said, at the end of the day, it's up to the player if they want to take their talent somewhere else. But for we ha but for Sam Kerr's case, the fact that she's done it and that she's been successful in three different leagues, is, she puts her at another status above other players. And so, um, I mean, I'm just basing this on facts. You know what I'm saying? This is all factual. You can look this up. So, uh, you know, I think uh, we need to be questioning FIFA, like everything. You know, is this was this just another popularity contest? You know what I'm saying? Alexa is a great player, but we haven't got to see her since the Euros because she got hurt. But is it because she went back to back? They, Barcelona went back to back uh, European uh, championships. Is that is that it? Because then where are the Lyon players getting their accolades? You know what I'm saying? So it's just like they've they've been back to back to back to back to back Champions League winners. You know what I'm saying? So let me know, like. 
What do you think? Do, 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 does Sam Kerr need to win a Champions League? Does she need to win an Olympic medal? Does she need to win a World Cup to, to finally get the best player in the world trophy? Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully not. Uh, but I think hopefully she's able to win one. Uh, maybe the World Cup. I don't. Maybe, you know, hopefully she's able to win one so she can get her uh, her flowers while she's alive. You know what I'm saying? Because that would really be really unfortunate if Sam Kerr never wins Best Player, ever. And her stats are, you know, superior to to most of the players, to most of the ladies that we see uh, playing right now. You know, and that's hands down. It is what it is. But anyways, y'all, this is my quick take uh, on the Ballet de Dawn. Um, but thank y'all once again for tuning in to Anita's Joint, hashtag extended joint, where every day is payday, baby. It's your girl Anita flying high, flying out of this third dimensional reality. And I'll see you on the next one. This.